G'day and welcome back to Unimig. First things first, you'll need to get the machine turned on and connected to the gas ready for welding. The Razor TIG 200 ACDC is designed to use an external gas cylinder and comes with a quick connect gas connection on the back of the machine. Before connecting your gas to the machine, make sure the cylinder is securely fastened to a wall or stationary support. If you have a new gas bottle, remove the insert tab from the valve and stand to the side when opening it. If the gas bottle isn't you, open the valve slightly to blow away any dirt or dust from it before closing it again. Before attaching your regulator, inspect to see if any damage is present, specifically on the nut and gas tube end. Screw in your regulator so that the face of the gauge is vertical and then tighten it with a wrench. Once your regulator is installed, you can screw your gas hose into the regulator and then plug the quick connect end of the hose onto the back of the machine. Turn your gas bottle on and adjust your gas between 8 to 12 litres per minute. Plug the machine into the wall and switch it on via the switch on the back of the machine. For both AC and DC TIG, you'll be running on negative polarity. That means your torch should be connected to the negative DINs and your earth clamp should be connected to the positive DINs. When stick welding, the polarity required will depend on the electrode being used. If you're running a negative electrode, you'll need negative polarity. If you're working with a positive electrode, you'll need positive polarity. That means your torch will be connected to the positive DINs and your earth clamp will be connected to the negative DINs. To start with, we'll cover what all the buttons do and how to navigate the digital screen. It isn't a touch screen, so everything is done either via the scroll knob or push buttons. Select your weld mode and settings using the up down buttons along the bottom of the screen. Adjust your weld parameters and weld cycle as well as your amperage by scrolling through and selecting them with the control knob. The two buttons on the top right are the remote mode button and the water cooler button. Press the remote mode button when you have a foot pedal or potentiometer torch connected to the machine. Press the water cooler button when you have a water cooler connected to the machine. Now let's go through the weld modes and settings. To select your weld mode, press the up down arrow button and cycle through AC TIG, DC TIG, Mix TIG and MMA to your required mode. The weld mode you select will dictate which other settings are available to be adjusted. The first weld mode is AC TIG, which will allow you to weld aluminium. When this mode is selected, you will not be able to adjust any of the MMA settings. The second weld mode is DC TIG, which is your standard TIG welding mode. When this mode is selected, you will not be able to adjust the AC wave settings or the MMA settings. The third weld mode is Mix TIG, which is a mix of AC and DC EN TIG. When this mode is selected, you will not be able to adjust the pulse settings or the MMA settings. The fourth and final weld mode is MMA, which is the manual metal arc mode or stick welding mode. When this mode is selected, you will not be able to adjust any of the settings except the MMA settings. When any of the TIG weld modes are selected, you'll be able to select the type of arc start you'd like, high frequency or lift arc. The first option is a high frequency start, which means you don't need to touch the electrode to the workpiece. Just press the torch button or foot pedal to initiate the arc. The second option is a lift arc start, which means you'll need to touch the electrode to the workpiece and then lift it upwards to initiate the arc. To select your torch mode, press the up down arrow button and cycle through 2T, 4T, S4T and spot modes. 2T, which stands for two touch, means you'll need to hold the trigger down on your TIG torch while you weld. Releasing it will stop the weld. 4T or four touch means you can click the trigger to start the weld and the torch will continue to weld until you click it again to turn it off. 4T is great for long welds where finger fatigue can become a problem. S4T, or Special 4-Touch, works similarly to Standard 4T, but allows you to adjust your amperage on demand using the torch trigger. While in S4T, press and hold the torch trigger to start the weld at the start amp's value. Releasing the trigger after its initial press will adjust your weld to the peak amp value. Pressing and holding the trigger again will adjust your weld to the end amp value. You can swap between peak amps and end amps as many times as you want. Double press the trigger to end the weld cycle. Spot mode will produce a series of consecutive and evenly timed arcs, perfect for even tacks and small welds. When in spot mode, you can select how long you want the intervals to be between, 0.1 and 10 seconds. You cannot use the pulse function while in spot mode. To select your AC wave, press the up down arrow button and cycle through square, triangle and sine waves. The square wave switches instantly between the electrode positive and electrode negative which gives it an incredibly stable arc and the max amount of time possible is spent at the peak of each, so it has a very high heat input. The triangle wave has a very fast transition between the electrode positive and electrode negative, and there is very little time spent at the peak of them. The limited peak time and quick transition give it an incredibly stable arc with low heat input. 
The sine wave has a smooth transition between the electrode positive and electrode negative polarities, and only a short period of time is spent at the peak of the electrode positive and electrode negative, so there's not a huge amount of heat being transferred into the metal. When in AC or DC TIG, use the up-down arrows to turn the pulse mode on or off. Turning on pulse mode enables the base amp, pulse width, and pulse hertz settings in the weld cycle. To select your MMA settings while stick welding, use the up-down arrow to cycle through the MMA amp, hot start, arc force. The MMA amp settings lets you adjust your welding amperage while stick welding. The hot start setting lets you adjust your hot start from zero to 80 amps for a boost of amperage at the beginning of the weld to help with arc ignition. The arc force setting lets you adjust your arc force from zero to 40 amps for a boost of amperage to ensure optimum arc performance. The anti-stick function is on by default, which helps stop welding electrodes from sticking to the workpiece. Next up is the weld cycle, which is only adjustable when in any of the TIG welding modes. The parameters available in the cycle will be determined by the settings you have selected. When DC TIG is selected, you'll be able to adjust the following parameters in the DC TIG weld cycle. Pre-gas, start amp, up slope, peak amp, base amp, down slope, end amp, post gas, pulse width, pulse hertz. The pre-gas, which determines how long gas will flow over the weld before the arc ignites, can be adjusted between 0.1 seconds and 3 seconds. The start amp, which determines how hot or cold the weld will start, can be adjusted between 5 amps and 200 amps. The upslope, which determines how long it takes for the start amp to reach the peak amp, can be set from 0 seconds or instantaneously up to 10 seconds. The peak amp, which is the current the weld will be done at, can be adjusted between 5 amps and 200 amps. When pulse mode is on, you will have the option to select a base amp, which determines the lower current of the pulse cycle and can be adjusted between 5 amps and 200 amps. The closer your base amps are to your peak amps, the hotter the weld will be. When pulse mode is on, you will have the option to select the pulse hertz, which determines how many times a pulse cycle of peak and base amps is completed. It can be set between 0.5 hertz and 200 hertz. When this is set to 0.5 hertz, it will take 2 seconds to complete one full cycle. If it is set to 25 Hz, then the pulse cycle will be completed 25 times in one second. When pulse mode is on, you will have the option to select the pulse width, which determines how much of the pulse cycle is spent in the peak amps and can be adjusted from 10% or almost no peak amps up to 90% or almost completely peak amps. The downslope, which determines how long it takes for the peak amp to reach the end amp, can be set from 0 seconds or instantaneously up to 10 seconds. The end amp, which determines how hot or cold the weld will finish, can be adjusted between 5 amps and 200 amps. The post gas, which determines how long the gas will flow over the weld after the arc ends, can be adjusted between 0 seconds and 15 seconds. When spot mode is a selected torch mode, you will have the option to choose the spot time, which lets you see how long the spot function will run for between 0.1 seconds and 10 seconds. The machine will run a weld cycle of pre-gas, peak amps for the set time, and the post-gas each time the trigger is pressed. When AC TIG is selected, you'll be able to adjust the same parameters as you would in the DC TIG weld cycle. Pre-gas, start amp, upslope, peak amp, base amp, pulse hertz, pulse width, downslope, end amp, post-gas, you'll also be able to adjust the AC balance and AC hertz. The AC balance, which determines the balance between the electrode positive and electrode negative in the AC cycle, can be adjusted between 20% and 60%. The electrode positive portion of the AC cycle works to clean the oxidization layer, and the electrode positive portion of the cycle deals with the penetration of the workpiece. A setting of 20% would mean the cycle is 20% electrode positive and 80% electrode negative. A setting of 60% would mean 60% electrode positive and 40% electrode negative. The AC Hertz, which determines how many AC cycles are completed in a second, can be adjusted from 20 Hertz up to 250 Hertz per second. The amount of AC Hertz set will impact how many pulse Hertz can be set when AC pulse is on. When mixed TIG is selected, you'll have a mix of the DC and AC weld cycles available to adjust, including the pre-gas, start amp, upslope, peak amp, downslope, end amp, post gas, AC balance and AC Hertz. You'll have the additional parameters mix AC DC percentage and mix AC DC hertz. However, you cannot use a spot torch mode and you can't turn on the pulse, so those parameters are unavailable. The mix AC DC percentage, which determines how much of the mix is AC and how much is DC negative, can be adjusted from 5% up to 95%, giving you almost none up to almost completely AC in the mix.
The mix AC-DC hertz, which determines how many AC and DC negative cycles are completed in a second, can be adjusted from 1 hertz to 25 hertz per second. The mix AC-DC hertz is impacted by AC hertz that have been set, so it is recommended to select your AC hertz before adjusting the mix hertz.